Good afternoon. Edmund Bartlett, Minister of Tourism, Jamaica. Well, thanks for joining us here for the second day of ITB. It was a good night for you yesterday. What was for you saying in particular? Well, indeed, it was a good night for you saying. It was a good night for Jamaica. It was a good night for athletics globally because the thing that you saying has become uh, synonymous with athletics now. Um, the two are called interchangeably. He certainly has revolutionized track and field and has given a new lease on life for a sport that was under some pressure and under the shadows of, um, of drugs and so on. And here has emerged a truly drug-free athlete that is really making records after records and is indicating to the world that it is possible to be an, an honest sportsman of great integrity. Well, he's inspired millions of children across the world, but he's also helped Jamaica a lot, putting you on the map even firmer as a, as a great tourism destination. Absolutely true. Um, notwithstanding all the difficulties of a, a tough year, Jamaica has been able to surge ahead, and primarily because um, of strategies employed, but the use also of our uh, key icons, and Usain Bolt is definitely one of them. His performances in uh, Berlin last year really uh, plummeted, uh, well, ra rather projected a higher level of recognition of Jamaica and made us um, become the talk of, of, of everyone's lips and indeed top of mind um, as a destination. And last year, it was, a, it was a pretty awful year for tourism all round, but Caribbean, relatively speaking, did incredibly well. Yes, Jamaica did very well. Um, the Caribbean, more or less, um, uh, held its own and uh, came through the year uh, with uh, what we call flat performance, which is anywhere from a minus two to a uh, plus two. Um, in the case of Jamaica, we did a little better than that. We actually grew by 3.6% over the year and in fact was um, one of only two uh, Caribbean destinations that showed growth in that period. And how are things looking for this year for Jamaica? Well, this year we've started off very well. The first month in January, we had an 8.2% increase over last year. Uh, February has also looked extremely good. We're up um, by another 5%. And we are tracking now, um, the second week of March, somewhere in the region of 6.5%. Um, and do you think that's a lot due to good airlift as well, improvements this year? Well, perhaps the single most important strategic um, move that we made was for uh, airlift security. And uh, we've been able to drive uh, airlift activities into Jamaica better than all the Caribbean combined. Um, and it began with the American Airlines um, deal, which was struck um, uh, late uh, 2008. Uh, we started out, in fact, very rockily out of the American market which had in fact um, had a contraction of some 20%. Uh, but Jamaica was able, after being down 10% in March of 2009, to end the year with a 2% increase, which was significant because it's not only that we were able to um, grow, but we're able to get market share, significant market share. But that happened because we were able to expand the capacity of airlifts from the United States gateways into Jamaica. And American Airlines and that program that we started was a tipping point. After that came JetBlue, um, came um, US Air out of the West Coast. After that came Airtron with 18 flights per week and so on. So what we saw was an increase of um, airline activity uh, in Jamaica uh, on top of the legacy carriers that we have, like the Deltas, you know, and the Continentals and the Northwesters and the Spirits and so on, we were able to attract these additional carriers. And that has made a big difference in terms of our arrivals out of the United States. Canada, of course, is our strongest growth market. Now, we ended the year last year with a 2.9% increase out of Canada. And we are tracking now at 16% increase over last year out of Canada. So can Canada continues to be a very powerful market. Europe, incidentally, Europe has bounced back. Uh, we ended the year last year with a minus five out of Europe, and the year has started so far with a plus five. Uh, Germany, of course, being the top market for us. We actually had a growth 
of 6.6% out of Germany last year, and Germany is still doing quite well. Now, you've been a very vehement campaigner against the air, airport passenger duty. What are your thoughts on that, and why are you backing it so strongly? We, we, we have been backing it strongly because uh, it is one of the strong deterrents to a movement of peoples from uh, UK into the Caribbean and perhaps the world. Um, one of the things that we must do for travel and tourism to grow is to remove barriers and impediments, and AP APD is definitely one. Um, we've seen a decline in um, UK arrivals in the Caribbean of some 19 percent, and that's significant, and I, I'm, I'm sure it is going to have an even more deleterious effect in 2010. Uh, for Jamaica, however, it hasn't been that bad. We only had a 2% uh, fall out of the UK. Um, and we have started the year reasonably positive out of the UK. But look at what more could have been done if the uh, cost of traveling now from the um, UK into the Caribbean was not that expensive. Um, it's a political issue. It's a difficult one um, to deal with, especially where... Um, you know, revenues uh, demand are so strong in countries such as the UK that has had a severe um, devastation from the recession. Uh, and so we understand the political issues, but we also recognize that uh, you can't transfer e economic pain from country to country and hope yourself to survive in the long run. Because what this is doing is to provide more pain and difficulties for the Caribbean in particular and several other destinations. Because I hear the Africans say the same thing, the Kenyans and South Africans. Only a few minutes ago, the South African minister was saying the very same thing. Um, and the Australian and everybody else. So what we're saying is that the UK, in a funny kind of way, is, is shooting itself in its foot with this particular um, tax levy. Because uh, people are going to shy away from even entering into um, the UK uh, destination, even as pass-through visitors. So you're going to find that there's going to be a further contraction in inbound as well as outbound traffic um, from the UK, and that must augur badly for even the economic gains that is hoped to be gotten from this imposition. So um, I would continue to pressure and to, 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 to implore the, the UK government to review its position on this um, in its own interest in the final analysis. Uh, we recognize that the short-term impact of it is to, 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 to fill a gap. Uh, we hope that it will not become a long-term imposition.